Hello friends, today we'll learn about DNA. DNA, short for deoxyribonucleic acid, is a molecule or bunch of atoms combined together. In the case of DNA, these atoms combine to form the shape of a long spiral ladder. DNA acts like a blueprint or a recipe for a living thing. But the question is how a tiny molecule can act as a blueprint for something as complex as the human body, this tiny plant, or this tall giraffe. Come on, let me make it easier for you. To understand this, let's learn about amino acid first. Amino acids are the structural units and also called the building blocks of life. There are 20 different types of these and each with a unique shape and quality. Amino acids combine together and construct various types of proteins. Hmm, amino acids create proteins. Proteins with other chemicals form the living cells. Cells make up tissues. Tissues build up organs and organs together form a living creature like this dog. Uh, don't bite me, buddy. There are so many types of proteins, but each has to be in a proper shape in order to function. If they're in an incorrect shape, they won't function. That's where the boss, <laughs> I mean DNA, comes in. DNA instructs and tells the amino acids how to form themselves in a perfect protein shape. Look here, this one is a simple model of DNA. It shows that the steps of the ladder are built up of four different types of chemicals, represented with different colors and letters. If you look at just one side of the molecule, you can read the chemical sequence or the genetic code. A single strand is so long, it lives inside a nucleus. Amino acids live outside the nucleus in the cytoplasm. To help DNA interact with the cytoplasm, the amino acids are converted into proteins. Special chemicals inside the nucleus make copies of the DNA code. These are known as RNA. RNA, or ribonucleic acid, resembles the DNA, but they're shorter and also missing one of their sides. RNAs fit in the tiny pores of the nucleus, out to the cytoplasm and into the mouth of another particle called the ribosome. They act as the protein-building machines. They acknowledge the RNA code three letters at a time, suck amino acids out of their surroundings, and stick them together in a chain according to the correct RNA code. As the chain grows, it bends, folds, and sticks to itself to form a perfectly working protein. Every three letters of the RNA code tell the ribosome which 20 different kinds of amino acids should be added next. In this sequence, AUG tells the ribosome to grab a methionine. GUC tells it to grab a valine. AGU, serine. And CCA tells the ribosome to grab a proline. And UAA instructs it to stop. Once a protein is built, it can perform a number of things, one of which could be to help form a brand new cell. So, you can say that DNA is a molecular blueprint for a living thing. DNA creates RNA, RNA creates protein. Proteins build up new life. To sum it up, DNA accommodates the instructions needed for an organism to develop, survive, and reproduce. To execute these functions, DNA sequences must be converted into messages that can be used to produce proteins, which are the complex molecules that do most of the work in your body. Same formula works for this cute hen family and all other living creatures in the whole world. Now you know a lot about DNA. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye-bye.